Adston. Hello and welcome again to Life Esteem. As I say, always great to have you as a viewer. Thank you so much for watching. Hey, today we're going to talk with Mayor Eric Pappenfuss. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the new mayor for the city right. of Harrisburg. Thank you so much for coming on the show, sir. Thank you. All right. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, you were just reminding us that you had actually been on the show before. And how, how many years ago was that? Believe it or not, it was 10 years ago, wow. or just about 10 mm -hmm. years ago. And uh, you had both myself and my wife on, mm -hmm. and we were, we were really flattered. We had just started our bookselling enterprise publicly mm -hmm. at the time. We'd been mm -hmm. selling out of the house mm -hmm. for a while, and, and we'd be a been able to build up enough inventory to open uh, mm -hmm. our first small store, which was located right now where the Hack Midtown campus yes. is. Mm -hmm. But it was a small building. We renovated it. I we had remember. done a beautiful mural. Mm -hmm. And of course, you all discovered it right away, yes, because I know you're, you're, you're book lovers. <laughs> yes, uh, amen. Yeah. And you gave us our, our first real publicity and interview, and going on the show was just a, a wonderful, wonderful experience. Well, and I, I was thinking about that today because at the time, 10 years ago, we were, we were sort of coming on to the public scene in mm -hmm. Harrisburg in a new way. And we'd begun to identify some of the things in Harrisburg that we felt were missing, that we wanted to, you know, the, the void that we wanted to fill. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that we, we thought was missing was a, a gathering space where, where people would, would come together and engage mm -hmm. in intellectual discussion about uh, the topics of the day. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, was, uh, it, was, it was something that we were uh, comfortable with, that we had come from New England, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it, it, it just was missing in Harrisburg. Fantastic. Yeah. And you have developed that place. <laughs> yes, we have. <laughs> oh, you, we all goodness. know Midtown That's Scholar. <laughs> we all go to Midtown Scholar. Yeah. It's a great place. Well, you're now the new mayor of the city of Harrisburg, and you have uh, really galvanized uh, uh, you know, the community in terms of the, uh, your slogan was, yes, we can. And then you yeah. brought everybody to the table. So let's talk about the transition and your vision for Harrisburg. Well, thanks. Uh, yes, uh, mm -hmm. it, it, was, it was very important uh, for, for, for us to conceive of uh, trying to run a race that would unite Harrisburg, mm -hmm. that would unite the city along racial lines, class lines, geographic lines. Because another thing that we remembered from, from 10 years ago was, was just the degree to which um, people were isolated and, and, and stayed separated. And uh, we, we, we had worked to try and change that. And as we looked at the, at the rate, and I say we, I'm referring to my wife, we, right. we, we operate a, a, a true family business, uh, much as, uh, <laughs> uh, as your own model. Uh -huh. And we make decisions together and, and, and we've tried to make a difference together. And we, we talked a lot about, you know, this was a big deal to, to, to run for office. And uh, we, we made the decision collectively that we, I, would, I would run if we were able to try and do something great for Harrisburg and try and um, unify people in a way that they weren't before. Can I ask and, you a question about sure. that? Sure. I know I want you to go on. Mm -hmm. But when you said you and your wife made this decision mm -hmm. to run, I wanted to, one of the questions I had yeah. for you, what made you consider politics? And coming from an education right. background, is that correct? And That's then right. having this wonderful, awesome bookstore yeah. that just does so much just nationally, probably internationally. But what, what made you think that was a well? Well, that, you know, uh, and, and I, we have three young children, yeah. mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, and I'm, I'm running a, a business with my wife that, that takes up a lot mm -hmm. of time. I and mean, it wasn't like um, uh, there was any extra time in our day or right. in our schedule. But, mm -hmm. but we, we felt a commitment to. Um, helping make Harrisburg a better place. Mm -hmm. And, and this, this was for our own employees, our own family, my, my children. I wanted Harrisburg to be a place where they would, would want to stay mm -hmm. after they uh, went through school, mm -hmm. uh, not a place that they would, they would flee at the earliest opportunity. Mm -hmm. I wanted Harrisburg to be a place where it was safe for my employees. Mm -hmm. We had had a, a, a series of employees that had been victimized by crime over the past mm -hmm. several years, and this had prompted my efforts at trying to organize an improvement district for, for, for um, the area around the bookstore and some other mm -hmm. uh, activities. And, and above all, uh, from a business standpoint, I wanted Harrisburg to be the destination where people would come from yeah. all over the country. Mm -hmm. uh, that was our, our model, try and create something great and people would come to the city. I mean, you have the beautiful capital, you have the wonderful river, you, mm -hmm. have, you have 
so much well-preserved 19th century architecture. I mean, it is mm -hmm. a tremendous place. And to, to, to top all that, it's well-situated mm -hmm. geographically, yeah. close to all these metropolitan areas. Mm -hmm. Transportationally, it's, it's very easy to, to, to move and, and ship goods. And, mm -hmm. it, it, it is a, and, and the cost of living is low. Right. So all that was there, but it mm -hmm. seemed to be jeopardized by this tremendous financial crisis that yeah. the city found itself in. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to be a part of the solution. And uh, I don't see um, this as a lifetime job. I see this as a, as, as a moment where Harrisburg needed somebody to come forth and to try and, and, and unite people. And right. I, I seized the moment. Fantastic. Fantastic, yeah. And then when you created your transition right. teams, you know, you were very inclusive. You even had uh, Chief Martin from Susquehanna Township involved. And in so you right. reached out beyond the, you know, the city lines. border of city lines. And there. that was okay. another mm -hmm. divide which, which deeply troubled me. It mm -hmm. seemed that the city was sort of, uh, by its own design, viewing itself as, a, as an island, uh, you know, unto itself. Mm -hmm. and. And, and really, we should be the you know the center uh, uh, of a wheel. Uh, we should we should be the uh, in partnership with all the surrounding municipalities. We have so much in common, mm -hmm. and uh, there was a lot of room for cooperation. Mm -hmm. And I tried to do that. So right, you had transition mm -hmm. teams that uh, that had people from the surrounding communities that cared about Harrisburg, which I didn't think was a novel idea, but really hadn't hadn't happened before. Mm -hmm. I also went out of my way to um, invite city council to participate mm -hmm. in the transition teams, yep. and each one was a member was offered a, a spot on a various team, and uh, um, some of them were, were, were incredibly active. And uh, in Harrisburg, some of our problems at root have been uh, an inability for the mayor and city council to sort of yep. get along and have a, a have mm -hmm. a common vision. And this struck me as is also really unnecessary. We're all elected at large by the exact yeah, same voters. Mm -hmm. We care about the same things. We want the city to succeed. So why is there this constant tension? And and I would argue it's it's because uh, city council and the mayor haven't seen themselves as collaborative partners. Mm -hmm. And we tried mm -hmm. to change that, just like mm -hmm. we were uh, seeing ourselves as collaborative partners with those from the out mm -hmm. outside communities. Mm -hmm. But another interesting aspect of the transition was uh, we made it a point, sure, we had public safety and we had uh, economic development, but we decided that in order to have an active, vibrant city, we had to include the arts community. Mm -hmm. We had to include uh, a commitment to, to culture and to tourism and to all the, the, the wonderful heritage that Harrisburg has to offer. And, uh, and as you know, of course, uh -huh. because you participated and helped us, we, 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 we gathered a tremendous team. Yeah. And the exciting thing is that it, it's an example of the type of partnership that government can have with nonprofits, mm -hmm. with the private sector, with everybody else. Mm -hmm. We're not trying to do it all mm -hmm. in, in the city. Far from it. We're trying to be a good partner, mm -hmm. a, 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 a place where, where you can find resources and collaboration and uh, somebody will go out and, and, and lead grant mm -hmm. uh, endeavors and everything else. And, and, and that type of leadership, I think, was missing because there wasn't a desire to widen the net and have cooperation. Yeah. Well, you know, it was so refreshing, okay, to also participate in that transition and to also interact with people I wouldn't have maybe normally would have been able right. to even meet mm -hmm. and discover and learn some of the things that they also were involved in. Uh, but I have to tell you, the whole uh, arts, culture, and tourism uh, creating that, and I have been told by several people how really um, they felt so included, inclusive, because the arts had never been truly embraced and really been able to have a voice in that way. So they were just really appreciative and thank you and just wanted to uh, share their uh, really feelings about that particular initiative. I, 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 and, and they have, and, mm -hmm. and, and, and mm -hmm. there's so much energy out there, people just yeah. bubbling with yes. enthusiasm. Just wanting to be asked, wanting to serve, yes. wanting to be a part mm -hmm. of positive change for Harrisburg, and that's that's really important. It, we did something similar with, with education yeah. and youth. Yes. We tried to put an emphasis on that. And, uh, you know, even now, you know, there's some that say, you know, city government shouldn't have anything to do with the arts or shouldn't have anything to do with, with education. Well, it, it, you know, there's, there, there, that perception is out there, but, but that does not reflect what the public in Harrisburg wants and needs. And everyone sees that education is 
at the center of everything. We, we, we have no public safety solutions without a strong educational foundation. We have no economic mm -hmm. solutions without a strong educational foundation. And, uh, and, and, the, and, and arts and, and culture are all a part of making sure that that foundation is strong and, and reaching uh, youth that are, are, are need to be inspired, need to dream, need to have um, have role models, positive role models. All this is possible, but in the past there's 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 been one of two models for, for dealing with education. Either uh, uh, it's the school district has been left to its own, mm -hmm. or there's been a, a mayoral takeover. Mm -hmm. And and neither of those models is right. Okay. You 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 want a city government in which. Uh, the, the mayor is supportive of the school district, is mm -hmm. trying to bring resources to the school district, is not trying to run it, but mm -hmm. is trying to help engage the community. Mm -hmm. And if, you, if you've read the recovery plan for the school district, mm -hmm. it, it entirely depends on whether or not we're going to be able to engage the community. Yeah. And that's not the strong suit necessarily of the school district. They have a, a lot of things that they're working on. Mm -hmm. and, but it is something which city government can assist in. And we're looking at developing a series of safe spaces throughout okay. the community where mm -hmm. the type of mentoring and, and tutoring and, and learning can occur outside of school hours. It's, it's so critical to everything that we do. How can the business community, and I know you have a mm -hmm. vision for this as well, mm -hmm. be engaged in all of this, especially the forward movement of Harrisburg? The, there's so many ways, okay. and uh, that's one of the things that I really hope to do. Uh, I think for the first time ever in an election, you saw the business community eager to get involved. Mm -hmm. um, they were as dismayed by the prospects of, of bankruptcy mm -hmm. and as, as everyone was. Mm -hmm. And you saw this, this coming together of big business and labor and, um, uh, and everyone saying, no, let's not go off the cliff. Let's, let, let's not lose sight of the fact that if we work together, we can come up with a solution. And in Harrisburg, we came up with an incredible solution that I think is going to be a model for, for other municipalities. I, okay. I was uh, recently in D.C., and I got to speak with mayors of other struggling uh, cities, mm -hmm. and, and, and they all asked, uh, how did you do it in Harrisburg? How did you get everybody around a table and have them all walk away with a commitment to a, a common goal and, and voluntarily take concessions? And that brings us back to business because there were, there were a number of businesses that said, we will take less than we are owed. And there are many businesses in Harrisburg that are here because they choose to be here. Mm -hmm. They could be somewhere else. Yes, they, right. they could you know, uh, uh, be someplace perhaps where it's cheaper to do business, but they're in Harrisburg because they are committed to building uh, a vibrant, strong capital for the entire region. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and I'm going to call on them to get involved. We're, we're looking at uh, forming a, a series of uh, foundations mm -hmm. which we can, we can use to raise money for a variety of tasks. Okay. One of them will be uh, a revival of the uh, Parks Partnership, which was mm -hmm. a entity that existed for some years that, that basically fundraised to support the parks. Mm -hmm. Well, we're in an even uh, you know, more dire era for, for, for funding for parks. We, we, have, we have very little resources, but if we get a committed group of business leaders, we put them on a board, they're out raising resources. We can not only do that, but we can then have local community groups mm -hmm and schools and churches adopt playgrounds and then suddenly um, uh, you're, you're, you, you have a commitment, you have a connection to the parks which, which you haven't had before. And, yeah. and that's the model. It's not a top-down model where mm -hmm. the mayor says this is the way it's going to be. It's about empowering and connecting mm -hmm. with, with people to, to do that sort of work both within and without government, outside stuff, of government. Yeah. Stuff, yeah. You know, I know that um, the IMC, you came and spoke mm -hmm. there, yeah. and I, I know that, you know, sometimes there's not always an agreement on terms of the direction that we have to go and everything, but we have to engage that, you know, the, the faith-based community, mm -hmm. especially the black clergy, get them on board the whole bit, and I really appreciate you coming and, and holding your own and, and, you know, not backing down and simply, you know, saying, mm -hmm. well, this is my vision, this is what I see, and so, um, so there's some work to be done there, mm -hmm. but how do we get all of our, you know, religious organizations, religious groups involved in moving forward with your, uh, with your vision as well. That is, that is a goal and a plan, and uh, it's something that our education and, and youth team focused on because we figured let's, let's have that inner faith uh, uh, 
coalescence uh, emerge along issues that we can agree on. Can't we all agree on yeah. the importance yeah. of, of yeah. education yeah. for our youth? Mm -hmm. And I was uh, I was amazed. In, in the lead up to um, uh, the election, I, I went to a, a different church each each Sunday in Harrisburg and yeah. and uh, worshipped with a, a whole variety of residents throughout the community. Mm -hmm. And there there were pastor after pastor after pastor who who were doing amazing things within the walls of of, of, of his or her church, mm -hmm. but. Did the community outside that really know exactly what was going on, and was it was it was it out there making a difference for everyone, or just 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 those that were there? And so we've started the conversation. And uh, Pastor Sims at, at Bethel uh, AME Church has been a real leader in this. He's been helping, and the goal is to invigorate the concept of the IMC. It's to get even more uh, uh, faith leaders involved, mm -hmm. and and use these uh, churches and synagogues and, and mosques that are with, within the communities, within the neighborhoods, use them as the sort of um, uh, central gathering place uh, wherever possible. Mm -hmm. And why shouldn't, if, if you're a church in Harrisburg, why shouldn't you have adopted a playground? Or why shouldn't you be interested in renovating a blighted property potentially mm -hmm. for, for your parishioners. There, there are a lot of different projects mm -hmm. that we should all be able to work on, sure. and, and that call to action is going to happen. Fantastic. Good stuff. You know, that is really yeah. fascinating, yeah. and to really hear uh, your insight and really appreciating that it's outside the walls that yeah. the most work needs to really occur and take place, and then with those collaborations, having mm -hmm. everyone contribute mm -hmm. based on whatever those expertise, skills, gifts, or talents they have. So I really applaud that. And really seeing that in your vision. Now, you did something else too that mm -hmm. I thought was great, and you were a part of just recently, was the International Poet and Storytelling okay yes. uh, event that was uh, sponsored by the World Fair Council of Harrisburg, mm -hmm. and in that you uh, named a new poet laureate. Tell us about that. Well, I thought this was a tremendously important <laughs> thing to do, uh -huh. uh, and. We need, we, Harrisburg needs a Poet Laureate. Mm -hmm. uh, and I know I'm sitting in the presence of a former uh, <laughs> yeah, Poet yeah. La Laureate. But we chose Rick Kearns uh -huh. and uh, uh, a tremendously fascinating poet. We got a chance to read one of his poems yes, at, at the gathering, uh -huh. uh, which moved me greatly. Uh, and he's somebody that I've known through the bookstore for, mm -hmm. for a long time and that is deeply respected in the community and writes meaningful poetry. So why not? take the opportunity to, to hold him up as an example, right. mm -hmm. as somebody who can inspire, as somebody who can, can cause us, I think, to reflect at various times on, on what we're doing and why we're doing it. Mm -hmm. I mean, poetry is, is able to, to just get right to the point, isn't mm -hmm. it? Mm -hmm. in, in, in ways that uh, yeah, speeches can't and you know, yeah. press conferences can't. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna be calling on him a lot to, um, to, to, to help um, uh, kick off various events and um, and 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 move the public with uh, with with his words. Yeah. yeah, and I've known Rick for years. He's yeah. an excellent uh, gentleman. You know, great yeah. representative for right. that post. And, yeah. and I mm -hmm. should say it was a it was a difficult choice. We had mm -hmm. a lot of oh, individuals, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, and uh, uh, you know. Uh, I'm hoping that uh, that this will be the start of a regular process yeah. in which we uh, mm -hmm. we we we, uh, we always have a poet laureate, yeah. and uh, and that new faces uh, emerge as a, as a part of that process, and that we right. inspire poets. At at that gathering, yeah. uh -huh. yeah. we had a young poet, didn't we, oh, who just yeah. uh, oh, was goodness. was so amazing. <laughs> I mean, brought the entire audience to tears. Uh -huh. This is a you know a young student, I think, who who who, mm -hmm. who wrote her poem in in, in tenth grade, and mm -hmm. uh, I mean we have. Poets abound in Harrisburg, yeah. and I think we can use poetry as one of those ways to connect to youth. And mm -hmm. uh, uh, and 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 I, I just I can't emphasize enough mm -hmm. how important it is to mm -hmm. do that. Absolutely. Well, I really want to recognize that young lady uh, in yeah. that she was the winner, okay, right. of the poetry contest that was sponsored by the World Affairs Council, and her name was Donna C. Penn. Right. Right. And I believe she's a 12th grader at Harrisburg yeah. High School. That's right. That's right. And uh, she uh, had first, I had seen and heard her first at the memorial uh, service for Nelson Mandela. Oh, at, right. Yeah, yes. Beth, all of us, yeah, yes. at Bethel yes. AME. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I was impressed then. Yeah. And then when she so submitted impressive. that poetry piece, I had to remind my husband that mm -hmm. that was the same lady, young mm -hmm. lady, because <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. I remembered her name. But it was amazing that 
I always am, that she remembered the whole thing, and she was able to really perform essentially that piece, and it was just really She performed, fun. that's yes. right. She that's performed right. it, mm -hmm. and, and so you have that whole performative aspect mm -hmm. of yeah. it, which is so important. That's right. Yeah. You know, switching gears a little bit, you uh, also did something that was a little bit unusual. You had a, uh, you know, you had your announcement, your, uh -huh. uh, but then you took people around uh, city government center, uh -huh. and you talked about the need to renovate that. That's and right. And that's a major project for you. Let's talk about that a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, traditionally, the way these things work mm -hmm. is there, there's usually a, 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 a ball or an exclusive mm -hmm. gala, and you, you, you raise money mm -hmm. for, for this, and, and, and people gather and celebrate. And the more I thought about it, uh, it with, with so many needs in, in the city of Harrisburg, mm -hmm. I figured, why not, if we're going to raise money for something, why not raise money to improve the, the working conditions of, of our own city workers? Sure. That for you know, 30 years, especially the police department, the building mm -hmm. is just it's falling apart. You saw the pictures yeah. that were here, yeah. uh, you know, uh, uh, on the news. And it's not a pleasant place to work. Now it's becoming a, a much nicer one. Mm -hmm. uh, on the Martin Luther King Day of Service, we had over 60 individuals come mm -hmm. out mm -hmm. and uh, pick up a, a brooms and mops and vacuums and they dusted and they cleaned. And, it, and it's really, it's, it's looking better. We've had nice. donations come in for a carpet, which I think is going to be installed mm -hmm. soon. We've got contractors and others that have been looking at the roof and it, it's been very very positive and we've established a fund mm -hmm. it's called the City Hall Beautiful Fund okay. mm -hmm. and uh, it is uh, you, you can write checks to that name and you can send them to the Foundation for Enhancing Our Communities mm -hmm. and uh, it is um, it, 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 it I think will make a really positive difference so it was a it was a way of taking the spotlight, which was, mm -hmm. was on the inauguration, and instead of having it be about an event or an individual, turning it on something larger and more important. And I certainly hope to do that uh, throughout everything that, that I do as, as mayor. It's not about an individual. It's not about an, an office. It is about everyone coming together uh, in common goals. Great stuff, great stuff. I, I was impressed that you even drove yourself up today and, you know, well, in your own car. And I, <laughs> I did. I, I, I gave back the car. When I came yeah. to work uh -huh. uh, on, the, on the first day, there was this gigantic SUV uh, parked in the mayoral parking yeah. space, and I wondered, you know, who's parked? And I, I went in and I asked the chief, what is this? He's like, it's, it's your car, it's your oh, vehicle. Wow. And I said, no, no, I don't want it. Please. Okay. Uh, I, we put it back in the police fleet, mm -hmm. and that freed up a, a vehicle for an officer, and, and that's where the vehicle should be. I can Fantastic. drive myself around town. <laughs> uh, we're we're uh, uh, a, a, a small city. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, mm -hmm. it's easy enough to do. Mm -hmm. But again, uh, yeah. it, was, it was more than symbolic because we have mm -hmm. needs for cars. That's we have right. codes inspectors. We have a variety of people that need vehicles on a mm -hmm. daily basis. Mm -hmm. uh, the mayor isn't one of them. Congratulations. I just think Thanks. that's the kind of thinking that we need. Yeah. And also, by the way, you surrounded yourself with some dynamite people. Uh, I think so. I think yeah. let me see Joyce Davis, <laughs> 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 Director of Communications. Tell us a little bit about Joyce. Oh, Joyce is uh, uh, so wonderful. When, when I think of uh, uh, a, a, the relentlessly mm -hmm. positive attitude that mm -hmm. we need to have, that yeah. we're, we're supposed to be communicating, yeah. and, and somebody who's, who's able to just um, bring diverse opinions and viewpoints together on a regular basis. I mean, that, that's Joyce. That's what she's done for her entire career. Mm -hmm. and, and it's always been about elevating the, the conversation and the discussion, mm -hmm. which I appreciate because mm -hmm. I want to have serious conversations uh, as much as possible right. on all things. But I want to do it uh, in respectful, uh, civil ways, mm -hmm. and um, Joyce really embodies that. So she has big plans uh, for the city, all of which I uh, support strongly. Mm -hmm. We want to we want to redo Channel 20 mm -hmm. into into something that is is much more meaningful, yes. has m more interesting program, has an advisory board that uh, allows it to be more than just sort of a mm -hmm. continual running of of. of, of press release type material, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. actually programming that people will want to watch. Yeah. We want to redo the city's website to make it much more accessible, but we, we have serious technological yeah. issues uh, with the city at the mm -hmm. moment. Uh, there's, there's a lot that needs to be addressed and modernized mm -hmm. and improved. Mm -hmm. We want to have a, a 311 system for communication. Uh -huh. We want to make it mm -hmm. one number that you call, right. mm -hmm. you, 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 you then get uh, uh, transferred to wherever you need to go in the city. You don't have to call individual departments and then have the phone ring mm -hmm. and nobody answers it and then have your calls tracked so that we can measure 
response time, make sure you get the answers that you need. And by you, I mean the, the public calling mm -hmm. about anything. Mm -hmm. Other cities have done this very successfully. Yeah. We can do it in Harrisburg as well. Mm -hmm. And that's part of our, our communication strategy. Another one of our transition teams, we brought together a lot mm -hmm. of individuals uh, about how, uh, how they felt disconnected from the city and mm -hmm. what it would take to, to bring us all together. And they've yeah. done some great work. Fantastic. You know, I don't, can't mention them all, but Linwood yeah. Sloan, I have to mention Linwood oh, Sloan. Yes. What a character. Uh, That's Linwood, my buddy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So I would describe Linwood as, uh, as, as, as a, a man of ideas mm -hmm. and passion mm -hmm. and power. Yeah. And at every point, uh, a conversation with him is mm -hmm. just an exciting journey. Uh -huh. And uh, I just, I, I truly appreciate his ability mm -hmm. to put things in historical context, mm -hmm. uh, context to think critically and to, to inspire me and even mm -hmm. mundane things. We were talking yeah. about, you know, <laughs> board appointments or something this yeah. morning and he went on on a, you know, on a, on a story oh, that, that put it all <laughs> in, in context for me. Yeah. Uh, I, I, and, and, uh -huh. But he brings an energy yes. and enthusiasm and a new perspective mm -hmm. that we have not had for, for a while. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, and, and arts, culture and tourism is, mm -hmm. is essentially uh, taking over the, the, the festivals and mm -hmm. the parks and a lot of the planning and activity that we do. So imagine if that were revamped and, yeah. and, 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 and turned into a real meaningful opportunity to engage with the public. And yeah. I, I know Len was excited. He was, he was there on Martin Luther King Day yeah. with, the, with the cleanup. We were, we were yeah. hanging new murals mm -hmm. and we were, we were, um, uh, we've, we've got a task force together to, to deal with the archives and how we can manage city records. There's so much that goes into that, but he's, yeah. he's and he, you know, he comes from the state mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. as does uh, Jackie Parker, who's our new economic oh. development director. Uh -huh. uh, so we were, we are we have a lot of talent in Harrisburg, mm -hmm. um, and uh, it's it's fantastic that they've answered the call to service. Absolutely, yeah. And you've done a, a great job, I think, in terms of you know vetting those types of people. They were right here amongst us, and right. you, you know galvanized them and brought them together. Yes, absolutely. And so you know just those two alone, but I mean many other well three of them. Of course, that you yeah, we can keep but going. Just so many more, yeah, keep going. Well, you know we're, we're quickly running out of time. I hope this oh, won't no. be the last time that you uh, come on and talk yes, with absolutely. us and let us know how things are progressing. Uh, not only just with the city, but the bookstore. I love your bookstore. Everybody Great. goes to Midtown uh -huh, Scholar. Uh -huh. And so, uh, you know, just much success to you. And, uh, you know, just keep on doing what you're doing. Well, thank you very much. Let's mm -hmm. make this much more frequently than once every 10 years. Yeah, every 10 years. Oh, I agree wholeheartedly with that. <laughs> and best to your wife and your family yes, as well. Indeed. I will. Kind of yes, thing. yes, indeed. Thank you. You know, we want to thank you so much for watching this program as well. It's all about forward, uh, you know, thinking forward, um, you know, progress. And we can't do it. Uh, Mayor Patman, who's cannot do it alone. We really need everybody to get on board. Uh, mm -hmm. I heard something recently that says that uh, peace is uh, not hoping for a brighter or better past. You know, whatever is in the past is in the past. But so what we can do today and what we can do tomorrow is uh, all up to us, right? Mm -hmm. And it's to, up to the attitude and to the perspective mm -hmm. that we bring to it. Uh, mayor Patman Foose is the mayor of the city of Harrisburg. He's the right man for the right time. Let's get this thing together. Let's make it work. And I know that we can. Right? <laughs> Together we can. We can. Together, Together we can. can. Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. So I want to thank you all for watching this program, uh, Life of Statement, and hope to see you next time here on Life of Statement. Goodbye.